want you to hit me as hard as you can. We at Joe Blow talk about movies all the time, and we talk to actors, but today, I'm really stoked because I, I get to talk to one of my favorite bands, Jeff Howard here, from The Used, and they're on tour, and we are backstage in a really cool dressing room. Pretty cool dressing room. Yeah, and but we're going to do something different with you because I want to ask you about your music. Cool. We're going to talk movies. First of all, there's something about your band from the very beginning that I've always felt was very cinematic. Were there movies? that have inspired you in the writing process? Oh, definitely. Um, you know, we take little inspiration from everything, really, you know? Mm -hmm. And that probably is why you, you sense that cinematic feel to later on songs and stuff like that. And, um, man, I can't, I can't pull out a specific movie just because when we write, it's everybody comes in with their own stuff and we yeah. come together, and you know what I mean? And so when we write, it's sort of a, like a mesh of everybody's ideas put together into one, you know? It all starts with maybe a guitar line, or maybe a bass line, or maybe a drum line, or maybe a vocal line, or whatever, depending on the record and the song. And so, I personally am, I mean, I've loved movies my whole life. <laughs> <laughs> Super nerd, I'm into like, you know, we've talked about it a lot. Yeah, you know, that's what so, we have. So yeah, I could say we definitely have, all of us have been influenced differently by movies at some point. I would say lately, I mean, I think Marvel's killing it. They really are. Especially with, um, there's one thing I'm so excited about. Okay, I'll, I'm just gonna jump right into this. I've, Please do. Um, even uh, Bert, too. Um, we're both huge The Dark Tower series, Stephen King fans. Dude, right? Oh man, I even have, I even have all the comics to it. You know what I mean? <laughs> so like, I, I've been, the movie's coming out, and I've, I've been waiting for, I don't know how many years. And I don't know if you've been following it pretty strongly. Yes, but yeah. There's good and bad to it, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. They're changing the story completely, which is, I'm, I'm okay with it, because <laughs> then that means I won't screw up the other one. But exactly, exactly. Yeah. Uh, what What was your first see like horror film that you saw as a kid that really like kind of or sci-fi that connected with you? Man, um, I almost want to say it was Godzilla that got me into sci-fi. Really? That that or like I said, um, man, that's that's a good question. I haven't really thought about that. Even the Alien and Aliens and uh, God, man. I think I, Alien was like, I think that's for a lot of people in, in our generation. Makes sense. Yeah. Blade yeah. Runner too, maybe like, even, oh you know, like some, there were so many good movies that came out in that like, that decade, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it was just, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Now, do you, you don't get to see a lot of movies when you're on tour and they're on tour right now, so check them out. <laughs> uh, we, we will in a few minutes. Uh, are there, do you, when you're on the tour bus, do you guys sit down? What are your like the top three movies that you guys watch when you're on tour? Oh man, sometimes it's a joke. You know, we'll just get a movie that like is Freddy almost annoying. And, yeah, exactly. <laughs> and then like we'll put it on repeat. And so every time somebody comes on the bus, it's on again. And we're like, God. <laughs> we did that with Norbit. Oh my God. That <laughs> yeah, was amazing. That's worse than Freddy <laughs> Got <Freddy>. Oh, definitely. <laughs> it was always on the bus for some. Well, um, you know, it it changes. Like there's there's been. Um, there's been tours that people will be obsessed with something. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, uh, we were in England, I would say, I don't know how many years ago. And there was a show called Snuffbox. Have you heard of Snuffbox? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And so Snuffbox didn't do well anywhere. <laughs> but we loved it. So, <laughs> And I, I could see why it didn't do well. It didn't really finish and kind of didn't make sense ultimately. But it, it did if you, if you paid attention. You know what I mean? And that was one of those things. It was on 24 hours a day. Like we would just go through all, it was only six episodes. We'd watch all six episodes, start it over, all six episodes. And <laughs> Actually Red Dwarf too. I was growing up talking about English nerdy stuff. Dude, yeah. you ever seen Red Dwarf? That was my ultimate childhood favorite TV show. Oh I'll really? show my true colors now, but. Wow. <laughs> Man, there's been so many good, I don't know. It's hard to say. There's, I mean, there's tons of good movies I like too, you know, but it mm -hmm. seems like nowadays they're kind of on this recycle. We're just gonna, we're gonna redo a movie they did, you know what I mean? And like, hey, that's great. You know, Sinbad hasn't been remade, has it? No, okay. I don't think so. That was good too. So, that yeah. was the same kind of Jason Argonauts kind of thing, but. Yeah, yeah. Well, um, there's, well, there's Clash of the Titans. Clash, Clash of Titans original was epic. Right? Epic. 
Harry <laughs> yeah. Hamlin. Seriously. That movie yeah. rocked. That movie really rocked. That mo- so not a big fan of the original. The no, remake? Um, the, the remake had one of our songs in it, which was great. Really? We had a couple movies like that. We were in the Transformers, which was awesome. That's kind of rad. We were pretty lucky with that. Yeah, we That's went to... Cool. Uh, yeah, I, I liked the new one. It wasn't... I mean... Really? It was... I liked... <laughs> well, in that sense of... In that sense of, it was... Not like going to the same movie. Okay. You know what okay. I mean? I, I'm, I'm okay with forgetting what I know about a movie and kind of starting over and just taking it for what it is. Okay. Yeah. Fair and enough. I was very excited our song was in it, so that kind of struck that childhood chord, you know what I mean? I'm like, yeah. 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 I grew up watching this. Well, kind of. If I had to pick a genre, that kind of like horror comedy, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, that's it. What's your favorite horror comedy? Like, uh, like Army three. of Darkness. Army of Darkness. By far. I mean, I loved Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 were great, but Army of Darkness, for some reason, it had that like... No, that like horrible jokes. You know what I mean? Oh, but God, yeah. like so cheesy. But that's that's how it's supposed to be. That's mm-hmm. why they're so cheesy. Yeah. And the TV show's great. I just saw the TV show. Yeah, yeah, I started watching it. It's really good, right? Kasumike, anything that guy has ever done. Okay. You know what I mean? The, I mean, maybe not all of the Yakuza films. There's a lot of good Yakuza ones, but some of it's too drama. Happiness of the Katakuri, which is like a remake of a Korean movie. Have you ever seen that? Because mm, it's no, it's, I haven't. Oh man, it's. It's like a zombie musical. <laughs> it's it's good and bad. Okay, um, okay. The original wasn't a musical either. It was like a dark, like drama thing. And they so had to add the song. He remakes it. It's all crazy. <laughs> um, any movie that guy makes that's that's quirky is really good. He made this movie that. Um, so you know Django Unchained. Yeah. Before of that, um, he made a movie because this is he's like Quentin Tarantino's idol. I'm guessing here, maybe not idol, but I think he is because there's similar things that. I noticed later on in Quentin Tarantino movies. Like, um, there's a movie, uh, uh, Takashi Miike made one called Django something. Um, oh, I know which one they're thinking right? of. Right? It's like yeah. a Western. Yeah, yeah. But it's, a, it's instead of a spaghetti Western, it's a Japanese Western, mm-hmm. so he made everybody learn English. And so they speak English in it, but then they put <laughs> Japanese subtitle, like Japanese dub it over or whatever. <laughs> so, which is kind of fun, I think. Um, yeah. Now I'm going to do, to close this out, because okay. um, we're going to talk about, I'm going to give you a choice of five verses, because verses okay. are the thing now. Yeah, yeah. you got to pick which one you like and why. Okay. Batman versus Superman. I haven't seen that movie yet. It's um, all right. But <laughs> we talked about that. Yeah, it's, it's, hard, it's hard for me to put two superheroes to fight each other. You know, I get the point. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? It's like, one guy's technically an alien. Yeah. You know, and I'm not saying aliens are bad, because that, you can't. You know, you can't say that. That's, E.T. That's ridiculous. Come on. Yeah, yeah, E.T. Exactly. You, you can't say that, you know what I mean? I mean, we would be alien if we went anywhere else, you know what I mean? So Absolutely. And I guess humans are kind of bad, so I guess <laughs> full circle there. Um, I would say Batman, man. All the, if, if I'm just going by movies, yeah. I mean, what's his name? Christopher Nolan? Mm-hmm. All yeah. those movies were amazing. You know yeah, what I, mean? like, I agree. Dark so, Knight is one of my favorite movies. Yeah, definitely. Mm-hmm. Right? Iron Man versus Captain America. Yeah, I saw that too. I didn't mind it. It was good. That yeah, was it was really good. good. Yeah. Um, that one's tough. Uh, I don't say Iron Man if I was to pick one. I like Captain Cap, America. Man. Are you really? Cap, okay. Cap, yeah. I like him, but I mean, if I had to pick what they were fighting for, then I would have picked Captain America. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But okay. if I had to pick off of just like outfits and like <laughs> powers, you know what I mean? It's like. Okay, dude's from the past and he's strong. You know what I mean? Fair he's enough. got some cool stuff going on. Um, I guess the other guy's just a rich dude, if you look at it that yeah, way. Yeah, basically. Like, I mean, he has powers because of the suit and stuff, but I mean, you're right. You know. you know what? You're right. Actually, I have to go with Captain America. I have to, I have to totally change my point of view because it's more of a... It's almost like stuff that's going on now. It's really political if you look at it. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah, that, that movie like was Standing really up well. for what's really right. You Absolutely. know what I mean? Even though it seems wrong. Mm-hmm. Yeah. We're gonna do Alien versus Predator. Oh, man. Um, that's, that's a tough that's one. A, that's, a, that's, a, that's the hardest one right yeah, there. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, I kind of want to go with Predator. Okay. But I like the Alien movies more. Mm-hmm. It's like the Alien movies were better. Yeah. Predator. Yeah. The first Predator movie is amazing. Oh, the first Predator is awesome. The second horrible. one was okay. I didn't. I'm, yeah, I didn't hate it. The movie was horrible. Alien versus Predator, though. Awful. Awful. Both of them. Yeah, the thumbs up scene in that movie still gets me. <laughs> like, come on, man. <laughs> There's anything you could do there. He does a thumb. Okay. There's a movie yeah. for your tour bus. Oh man. Alien what versus Alien. Predator. <laughs> you know, if I was to go on movies alone, I would just say Alien. Okay. But Fair if enough. I was to go on a, a character, actually, I'd still go on Alien. You're right. Okay. 
Say, right. you changed my mind again. That's twice. I'm gonna keep working on that. Yeah. <laughs> Dracula versus the the Wolfman. I was gonna do Frankenstein, but I figured I'd go. I'd say Dracula. Okay. Um, Why? The vampires versus werewolves. There's so many good werewolf movies, though. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like um, Dog Soldiers. Still one of my favorite movies ever. Great. Um, American Werewolf in London. Oh yeah. Amazing. American War of Paris. I didn't mind either. Really? <laughs> yeah, I didn't mind it. It's horrible. And it's you are much nicer than I am. <laughs> See, if it was just a character, I would say um, vampires. Okay. Just because of how they're portrayed in each movie. It's sort of like an elegant, sometimes, not always, sometimes they're like slimy, which is cool too. Yeah, yeah. Um, I guess like some of those Anne Rice books, if you read about most of the vampires in there, they're not real. You know, they're like slimy. Like oh, yeah, they're really zombies dirty. Zombies, almost yeah, gross, yeah, yeah. minus mm -hmm. like Lestat and whatever. But, yeah. Fluid. But yeah. Um, movie wise, it's, I would say there's, oh, man, because Bram Stoker's Dracula is awesome. Oh, it's amazing. Yeah. It's beautiful. Now, the last one, because I know you're a big fan <laughs> Team Jacob or Team Edward from Twilight? <laughs> Speaking of. <laughs> That's a movie you have to have on your door. Man, embarrassing story. Bert had to go watch one of those movies. In front of the directors at one point. Oh, wow. and it was like half CGI put in and everything, and he doesn't like the series at all. Like none of us really. No offense. Yeah, but he had to watch it in front of him and then comment on it after he watched it. Wow. I could. I wouldn't have been able to do it only because. I mean, I'm pretty. I'll be honest, and I. Sometimes that's a bad thing. Yeah, it can be. <laughs> yeah. I, I had to review three of them, so. Damn. Yeah. I know yeah. the girl, uh, the girl, what's her name? The main girl in it? She's, Kristen Stewart? She's a huge use fan. At least Is I've, she? Oh, well, I don't, maybe not, but I've, I've seen her in jackets. Somebody sent us this jacket picture she had that had like used patches all over it. Wow. So it was like, it was kind of surprising. So we love Twilight. We, we, we love Twilight. <laughs> well, she seems nice. Everybody in it seems she's, nice. She's so. actually really cool. I've interviewed her before. Oh, cool. Okay. I liked her a lot. You'll have to ask her next time. Like, okay. Use fan? Because they've seen your jacket. I will. I'm going to bring it up.